Okay, so today AI Dungeon pushed out new UI Phoenix to production, so it's the default one now. And I have to update the installation tutorial. So, assuming you are logged in, you could play, create scenario, empty, or any other you like, details, edit scripts. Then you must go to my repo on GitHub, open all of these. So, input modifier, context modifier, output modifier, and shared library. And then just copy their contents. Copy row file is the way now. It's way faster than just scrolling through over 2000 lines. So, shared library into library, input modifier to, modi to input. Then context modifier to context and output modifier to output. Save. And then at the top of input modifier, you have these things. Uh, this con these constants. And in short library, you have these functions. Damage function says how much damage will you inflict based on attack stat def and uh, defense stat. Oh, and stat are the stat values. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Uh, dodge is whether the character has dodged. The experience calculation is for calculating how much experience you need for the next level. And here, damage outputs is dealing x damage when whenever a character deals damage to another character so if you deal five damage if more than once light damage if you deal 40 damage it's more than 30 but less than 60 so significant damage that's how it works ignore zero diff is uh, does not check whether stats are equal to zero when attacking. Normally it does check when they are zero and sets them to one. Should punish will inflict state dot punishment to the character when they are performing skill checks. So if you by default it's five, so you are performing skill check by the dead character. Well, until you revive yourself, you will be treated as your stats are your stats minus five levels so default dodge switches attack and static level into oblivion is if the most important thing you have to set it before you create your first character which you're gonna do pretty quickly i think and basically it switches between leveling like in the other scroll series when set to true hence the name oblivion or uh, leveling up your character like in most RPGs like I don't know Dragon Age Origins D&D uh, and defending character levels should defending character also gain XP when they uh, when attack is used on them that's everything you need to set I think if you want to update your scenario to the newest version of the script I do not guarantee that will always work then you can just open your scenario edit it and update the scripts and that will update the scripts on every instance of that scenario on every adventure you have created with them i will name it deal to finish play now let's see if the comments work And they do not work. What happened? I have no idea what happened. I've played the scenario again. I used the exactly same command and it works, which is weird. Well, whatever. As you can see, it works now. 
for some reason it didn't before goodbye